Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the number 12 review of series number 10. Series number 10 is non premium pouches, and we will be taking a look at another Klondike product Klondike peppermint pouches. So let's take a look at the packaging. So that is a sticker obviously on a black plastic lid. The lid is not good. It's on top of a plastic can that is all right. It's not overly brittle. It's not like some of the uh, Swisher products where the cans are brittle enough that they actually crack. But the packaging overall is not really good. Uh, the Klondike sticker is slightly more appealing to the eye than the sister products, Decade and Derringer. But again, with the 20 pouches there, they have been able to work into it the canary yellow, which is just not necessary. You don't have to do that. Also, as usual with these uh, CN Smokeless Tobacco Company products, I am a little shaded out by the, not premium moist snuff, but premium moist tobacco at the top there. The silver and behind the mountains, the sky is reflective. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You have a barcode. And then right here, you have the fact that this product is 100% foreign tobacco. And it is a net weight ounce 0.47 can. Now, to put that into perspective, the Timberwolf pouches were in line with Copenhagen and Skull pouches. They were 0.82 net weight ounces. The Renegades, which were sort of a Pinkerton take on Skull Bandits, were 0.71. This is 0.47. What that means in just, you know, actual picking a can of this up is the can actually feels ridiculously light. It, it actually, you can actually feel the difference. Like, if there wasn't something shaking around in there, you'd think it was empty. So that's what that is. Up above this warning label is the manufacturer's information. Some more branding. The fact that it is 20 pouches. You've got a fairly good size warning label. Uh, the manufacturer's information is that this is CN Smokeless Tobacco Company of Grover, North Carolina. This is one of their products. This is sort of their premium line. Yes, this is as good as it's going to get. Uh, for this product, uh, the Klondike here, they are using their alternate name, which is Cheyenne International LLC of Grover, North Carolina. So, if I remember correctly, the long cut, and I use that term very loosely here, uh, version of the mint was not terribly bad the Klondike products don't have the shady alcohol background smell taste so in that respect they're good <sighs> fighting to get into the can again oh <laughs> look tiny little pouches <laughs> Okay, so you have 20 baby pouches in there that don't look moist, but if they're anything like the last product, they are very slightly moist, and you'll only be able to tell if you press it to your lip. Um, smell of the quick can is actually not bad it, it, it's a very fresh popping peppermint mint 
Now, how quickly that dissipates is a different story. Just for um, reference, I'll put one up next to a Timberwolf pouch. So you can see the difference there. Is that registering? So, they smell good. They, they, they smell all right. I'll, I'll give it that. All right. So, but, and there are 20 in a can, but th there's really only five dips in this can because you got to put at least four in at a time. I'm not even going to pause this because I don't have to wipe my hands off or anything with this stuff. It's a very fresh mint. The flavor is actually okay. It comes off across stronger than the cherry, which I sort of expected. Uh, the question mark uh, for me will be the next one, which is the winter green version. You know what? I am going to hit the pause because I need to get a measure of a couple things here. It's going to take a minute. Okay. And I am back. Okay. So with this, the flavor is coming through. It's not bad at all uh it's a pretty fresh mint peppermint um there is actually a mint sensation going on like a cooling tingle type deal nicotine in this is going to be again real low uh the pouches are sort of moist uh, they're comfortable enough, but that would be, I mean, they're so comfortable that if you only put one or two in, you may not even know you have something in your mouth. Uh, and that is the drawback. I mean, it, 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 if you can get this for like 75 cents or 50 cents, you know, it, it might, it might take the place or you might be able to like mind trick yourself into thinking that you're dipping something else. Um, it's a pretty pronounced peppermint flavor, uh, leaning sweet. There's no shady background taste flavor, anything like that. So that's good. Nicotine's real low, though. I mean, th this is a gas station buy, basically, just to get you to the next gas station <laughs> where they sell actual real dip products. Um, the can's crap. I mean, it's hard to open. The lid is easy to bend. The can is pliable enough that the actual can is all right. Um, but, you know, you got some pretty ugly facing sticker and banding going on. You know, it, it, I guess it is what it is. I guess it is what it is depending on how cheap you can get it. But even if I was in, even if I was jammed up, I would be hard pressed to bring myself to buy this uh, outside of obviously reviewing because I ordered online. So Lord knows what I actually paid for this. Um, it's a budget company. The The Klondike products are, are slightly better than the decade and Derringer. Uh, in this series, there is no decade. They don't put that in pouches. Uh, so, you know, I will be doing Derringer though. Um, on the back, there is a date code. I didn't even really touch on it. It's in yellow pinpoint ink. I don't know what it means. I don't really think it matters. Tell the truth. I, I don't care, really. That's, that's what basically what I'm trying to say. Um, it's, it's just, you know, you got ridiculous, like, laughably small pouches with no nicotine. They got the flavor pretty good. And the can's not brittle. 
and there's no shady background. The stuff's been soaked in grain alcohol going on. So that's all good, but I mean, you get what you pay for, and, and you shouldn't be paying more than seventy-five cents for this can. I, I, I you know, it's the, the can doesn't feel like I, I got to shake it. And that's the only way you know that this can isn't empty. That something's banging around in there. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, you know, it's just... There are worse. How about that? There are worse. Uh, but this isn't good. You know. It's, it's passable just because I don't have an incredible urge to spew it out of my mouth in the trash can as soon as I hit the stop button. Okay? So, this has been the Klondike Peppermint Pouches review. I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. I'd like to say hello and thank you to Aaron R. Thanks, man. Um, do check out Berg's Dip Reviews, Winnington Outdoors, Dirty Pat Walsh, Wayside Lee 83, Real Talk Studios, No Bluff Buff, and snoosefreak.com, the channel on YouTube. Guys, I do hope everyone is well. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.